Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue circle inscribed in a sector OAB. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the center for this uh, sector is O, where the center for this uh, blue circle is C. And moreover, the area for this uh, blue circle is pi centimeter square. And furthermore, this angle AOB is 60 degrees and now we are going to calculate the area of this yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step. We know the area of this blue shaded circle has been given to us as pi centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. So in our case, the area of this blue circle has been given to us as pi, and pi we can write pi times one whole square which is same as pi so that means the radius for this blue circle is going to be one centimeter so therefore the radius for this blue circle turns out to be one and since we are interested in calculating the area of this yellow region so therefore we must calculate the radius of this sector let me represent this radius by uppercase r and now we are going to calculate the value of uh, this uppercase r now let's go ahead and make an observation we can see that the, this uh, yellow region area is equal to this uh, big sector area minus uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded circle and we already know that has been given to us the area of this uh, blue circle which is pi centimeter square so therefore our job is to calculate the area of uh, this uh, big sector and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect this uh, center o with this uh, point of tangency f as you can see in this uh, next diagram and just keep in your mind that these uh, centers o and this center c and this point of tangency f are always uh, collinear according to this uh, circle theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees now we can see that this uh, o f is the radius of this uh, sector and we know that this is uh, uppercase r whereas uh, this uh, c f is the radius of this uh, blue circle which is radius equals to one and if this is the tangent then this uh, angle has got to be 90 degrees so no wonder these uh, point o c and uh, f uh, are collinear and now let's go ahead and connect uh, these points d and e with this uh, center c as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now let's recall the circle theorem once again. The angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagrams. So no wonder this angle and this angle is going to be 90 degrees since these are, are the radii and these are our tangent lines. And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the very same external point, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, these uh, two tangent segments uh, are going to be congruent. So therefore, we are going to conclude that these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent. That means the triangle ODC and this uh, triangle uh, OEC are congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem. Since these two are our congruent triangles, so therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle since the total angle is 60 degrees. So this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees as well. And now we know that this angle is uh, 
90 degrees, this is 30 degree angles. So therefore, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle ODC. And here I have copied it down. And we can see that this uh, triangle is uh, a special 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And now we know that the radius of this uh, blue circle is 1. That means this uh, CD is 1. So that means this CD is 1 as well. And now we can see that this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to this one is going to be our smallest uh, leg. We can see that this uh, is our 90 degree angle and that's the largest angle. So the side opposite to this one is going to be our longest uh, leg. And always remember in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the longest leg is twice as the smallest leg. So if the smallest leg is 1, then uh, this longest leg is going to be 2. Therefore, we can see that our this side length uh, OC turns out to be 2 units. So thus we figured out this uh, length uh, OC is 2 units. And we know that this uh, CF is the radius of this uh, blue circle, which is 1. So therefore, this whole length uh, OF is going to be 2 plus 1 equals to 3. And now we know that this uh, OF is the radius uh, of this uh, sector. So therefore, our uppercase R value turns out to be 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big sector. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square. And in our case, our radius uh, r is 3. And our angle theta is 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi and in our case radius is 3 whole square. Now we can see 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees gonna reduce to 1 over 6. So therefore this turns out to be 1 divided by 6 times 9 pi and if we reduce this thing that is going to give us 3 pi divided by 2. And we already know that the area of this uh, blue circle is uh, pi. So let's go ahead and substitute these values uh, in this uh, equation. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So yellow area is going to be equal to our big sector area is uh, 3 pi divided by 2 minus uh, this uh, blue circle area is uh, pi. Let's go ahead and put down pi. And if we subtract this thing that is going to give us uh, pi divided by 2. So thus our yellow area turns out to be pi divided by 2. So thus the area of this uh, yellow region turns out to be pi divided by 2 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.